Listen, let's move on. Uh, Monaco versus Dortmund. Uh, Dortmund 2.25, Monaco 3 and draw 4. Anybody else think that Monaco should be the favourites in this match? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think Martin and I would agree. Yeah, I think they should. I mean, for me, Natalie... I mean, I'm going to go over. I mean, I'm going to actually go over two units. I'm going to have a big play on this game. I, I don't really see any reason, if not, we don't see more goals than last week. Why, why wouldn't we? Monaco's not the type of team that's just going to sit back and try to play defense. They're relentless time after time. Uh, Dortmund has no other opportunity but to attack. Um, and Monaco's conceded in five of seven. We see a lot of goals here. Uh, this is a, a 4-2, 3-2 uh, type of game. I, I think it's uh, an easy over. Well, I think neither team is safe at this point and both need to score. So right. I think it is going to be a very attacking game. But personally, if we're talking straight on the outrights right now, I really like Monaco to win. Either like the straight win, Monaco, or Monaco draw no bet, uh, which you can get 2.2, a pretty awesome odds. The odds now for Monaco to qualify have dropped substantially, 1.36. Um, anybody think that, that Monaco will win this match or to draw no bet? I think they can win it. I think I, I always do find it a little bit risky to back a team to win when they don't actually have to win to qualify, simply because if they're drawing in the closing minutes, they're not really going to pull men forward because they know they don't they don't need to. But yeah, I don't see why not. They're, uh, they're, 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 they're just two really strong, exciting attacking teams and it's not in their nature to defend or sit back. So it looks like we're going to see another open, enthralling, pulsating game between two kind of gung-ho teams I think yeah. yeah just look to the goals market like big man says look to the overs over 3.5 goals is 1.91 mm. it's 2.05 to over 3.5 goals is 2.05 right now I found 1.91 okay. Like about that, five minutes yeah, ago, ten point minutes point ago. Point. I don't really understand that line, to be honest. I mean, that didn't make any. Why is that line only three and a half? I mean, did they not watch? Do they not watch these teams? I mean, I well, you can take it to four. You can take it to over four and a half, and then obviously it grows. You can you can sure, play. Sure, uh, but, but I'm saying the 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 actual line was set at three and a half over here. That makes no sense to me. I mean. We, we've clearly seen these teams time and time again score goals. The line just doesn't make sense. That's all. Uh, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Actually, Alex, you're right here. You can get 2.1 now. It's actually growing then for the over 3.5 goals, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm I wondering have, I have whether another approach, you guys. Uh -huh. so another approach. Marco Reyes is back for Dortmund. He scored the goal after six weeks of missing from the team. He's a genius in the midfield. He played with Eintracht Frankfurt, and after three go three minutes in the game, he scored. I love uh, this uh, this guy, and uh, he's playing such uh, so good. So I think that it will count a lot uh, that he will be back also in Champions League now against Monaco. As um, as Martin said, Monaco doesn't need to win this match, so they will not push uh, Dortmund uh, in their half. They will expect and they will strike on the break. Me, I, I think that uh, Dortmund can take out something from this game. I love Monaco to go further, but it will be really tough for them. So for me, it's Dortmund with draw no bet at another 1.75. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Monaco are not safe. They lead by three goals, but Dortmund have got two. You know, they only need a, they only need a goal or two on the road, and, and then they qualify. So I think neither team are safe at this point. I think both will be pushing. I, don't, I disagree slightly there, I have to say. Yeah. I, think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a really open match and goals from both sides. I got to tell you, Natalie, I, I would look uh, maybe at uh, Dortmund advancing here. I mean, w w what would... Yeah, Dortmund yeah, yeah. What would Dortmund prevent? to qualify right now is 3.5. I, mean, I took Monaco at 2.6. I mean, you can't get a more, um, you know, tranquil atmosphere than that stadium. It's not going to be uh, – not that Dortmund cares or anything, but, you know, it's not like they're not going to go in there and be – I mean, they're not going to have to worry about uh, rabid fans on the road. I mean, uh, Monaco's a very tranquil. Plus, I mean, maybe they'll use that bus accident, the, the explosion at, at this point uh, a week later – now it's time to move on, you know, and, and use that as motivation to win this thing. I mean, you said it, Natalie. And I think that, uh, yeah, go ahead. And they, uh, you're right, Big Man. I think that they, they got affected uh, from that accident in the first leg. So uh, in the first half, if you saw the difference between the first and second half, they uh, in the second half, they played a lot better. So I think that uh, their game got a little bit affected. 
Now, no reasons uh, for them in the second leg they to stay in defense. They struggle on the road, though, Alex. They've proved themselves in Bundesliga. Yeah, but, they are undefeated yeah, but, at home. They've got four road wins. In uh, yes, the Bundesliga, it's a tougher league than League One. I get that, but it's they they struggle on the road, and Monaco I, is a I, tough I place. I see your point. I see your point. Absolutely, you're right. But uh, not to forget that this is their last chance to qualify, so they will go all their power. Uh, exactly like Bigman said, Monaco Stadium, it will be, let's say, if the, it will be full of fans, it will be really light, uh, the atmosphere there. So they should concentrate only on their football. Trust me that it will be really tough for Monaco to go further. Yeah. All right, I... listen, we, we're, we're, they're calling for a dance, Alex. So I'm taking Mon I'll take Monaco, draw no bet, and you take Dortmund, draw no bet. Absolutely. <laughs> Lose, oh, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Loser dances. I, I don't know. I just think this drone is in, in Monaco. I even like Monaco and the over 2.5 goals, 3.9. But listen, one quick uh, interesting bet that I found was the first goal because I think this is going to be such a heavy goal fest. First goal in 0 to 15 minutes, 2.4, and then or 16 to 30 minutes, 3.5. I think it's going to be over match. These are never the, the bets that we take. But if you had to guess when the first goal was going to come, which one would you take? I think that it, uh, in the first 15 minutes we it, we might see a goal. But if if it's not to risk it so much and we have around 1.8, 1.9 in the first 30 minutes, I think yeah. that we should take that instead. What, uh, what yeah. do we have for the first five minutes? I don't know. I, <laughs> I was trying to have a look. For the, this was first I mean, goal and it I gave me a selection of 0 to But I mean, if... if, if you're going to see a goal early. Wouldn't it be these two teams, honestly? That's what I yeah, think. Absolutely. I mean, but let's make it ten minutes. The goal better in, than five. <laughs> yeah, minutes. well, then you can you can play naught to fifteen minutes, two point four. Those are like the time allocations they give you. Naught to fifteen minutes, sixteen one, to thirty minutes. One, one thing Dortmund must do. Pulisic has to be in the starting lineup. He was a total game changer in the second half. Uh, he's got to be in there. That that line has to be with him in there. He cannot sit on the sidelines. 